Drone footage shows construction beginning on Saudi Arabia's sci-fi megacity called the Linus City planned to be 105 miles 170 kilometers long that people can live and work in without ever leaving. As another day of failed cryptocurrency companies and Big Brother watching us passes, it truly feels like we are inching ever closer to a bleak future from a sci-fi novel. The only thing we've really been missing is a futuristic megalopolis. Saudi Arabia's The Line caught headlines this past summer for its sleek and arguably unnecessary approach to a city featuring a completely self-contained city that is 500 meters tall, 200 meters wide, and a whopping 170 kilometers long and a mirrored glass exterior. While the knee-jerk reaction was rampant skepticism over when and how this monstrosity would ever get off the ground, new footage from Saudi Arabia confirms that the line is officially a work in progress. Saudi Arabia announced plans to dedicate an $80 billion fund to develop the Neo Mega Project, aimed at establishing a futuristic living space in the northwest of the country. It will have no cars, roads, or greenhouse gas emissions and will be powered by 100% renewable energy, with 95% of the land being preserved for nature. Ben Salmon suggested that funds could increase to up to $106 billion if required, with the state investing most of the funds. Neom is expected to be one of the most complex construction developments in the world. Phase 1 will require $160 billion in funding, with the additional investment being provided through an initial public offering IPO. The structure is expected to be out of this world, with flying taxes, and a high-speed rail network with an end-to-end -end transit time of just 20 minutes. Planners also expect to see robotic avatars and holograms in its future, in addition to its ambitions to be a trailblazer in several new technologies. The Saudi government has also put connectivity at the center of the Neom development. Located on the Red Sea, it is expected to form a major trade hub, with 13% of the world's trade passing through the waters at present. The drone footage shot by Odi Sky shows construction underway on the Linear City. The works could also show preparation for an underground transport system that is planned to be built underneath the length of the city. Speaking to Dazeen in an exclusive interview, Neom's executive director for urban planning Tarek Kadami said that the Line Mega City will revolutionize our current way of life and will be net zero over its lifetime. However, experts refuted the project's sustainability and liability claims. The Line offers an alternative to traditional city models that fan out from a central point. If built, it could house 9 million people. This means its footprint will be just 34 square kilometers, making all daily needs accessible within a five-minute walk. This linear layout will serve as a remedy for the many issues faced by modern cities, such as car hegemony, air pollution, and urban sprawl. The line is also committed to being a net-zero carbon city. To be net-zero, a structure must eliminate all possible emissions over its lifetime. This includes both embodied carbon emissions, which are caused by the construction supply chain, and operational carbon emissions, which are caused by a structure's usage. Oldfield also shared concerns over the structure's impact on biodiversity, but Kadami said efforts to protect local wildlife are also key to the linear city's design. Unlike conventional cities, the line will ensure that nature is not watered down as it crosses the urban fabric and instead, that it is kept intact, witnessed, enjoyed, and celebrated. One design feature prompting fears for wildlife is the line's mirrored facade. This is because reflective surfaces are understood to be one of the biggest causes of bird deaths each year. Academy said the line will be designed against this, with facade treatments that prevent collisions and nature corridors that align with migratory bird paths. These exact migration paths and patterns are being mapped by a dedicated team of scientists over the next few years. Birds that fly at different heights will also have their designated nature corridors that are designed in combination with the right glass treatment. Earlier this week, human rights organization ILQSD reported that three men who had been forcibly evicted from the Neom site had been sentenced to death. 
Piling work for first phase has begun. Some commentators have questioned whether the line will ever really be built. However, Kadami claimed that the feasibility studies are complete, adding that piling work for the first phase has already begun. He said the team is now working with the world's leading universities and urban research organizations to improve the design through technologies such as digital twins, where a virtual clone of a project is made to inform decision making. If you like this video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe our channel.